Hey everyone, uh, this video I'm going to show you the probably the most exciting feature in Adobe XD. Okay, you can click on things, it's like little card. I need lots of them though. Imagine if you could just go, whoop, look at that, I've got loads of them. Ooh, but what if we needed some images? Look, I can just drag some images in. Oh, and they all update. I can play with the spacing, get them all kind of separated out. Amazingness in the repeat grid. Let me show you how it works in Adobe XD. All right, to get started, uh, product details page, I've made it longer and I've moved our little snack bar down there and I'm binning all of this hard work that we've done. Okay, so, and also I might get rid of the image and just switch it out for a fill, just kind of like back to square one. So if I was doing this and there's multiples of these, it's really easy to use the repeat grid on this. So I'm gonna select everything that I want to be part of it. I give it a wiggle often to make sure I've got everything and I don't have anything I shouldn't have. Okay, and you don't have to group it, but you can. Um, you can click on this one here, repeat grid, boop. Okay, and <laughs> that's a new sound effect for this course, by the way. Um, all right, and all you do is drag it down, and you're a repeat grid master. Look at us. Okay, uh, things you can do. Um, let's get a few of them. There we go then. Okay, you'd be like, oh, I need this to come up a little bit. The gap's too big. Watch this, hover, 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 and just, I'm not doing anything. I'm just clicking, holding, and dragging. Okay, and you can get it to overlap. You can do this. Okay, <laughs> this is not what I want, but okay, I'm gonna get mine to be quite tight in there, maybe even a little bit like that. Here we go. Now, I'm going up and down because we've got that, but you can definitely go this way as well. It doesn't matter if you're doing the desktop version, you can go left, right, you can go up and down. I'm just gonna go down in this case. So what makes it cool is that it's continually adjustable. Once you're finished with it, you just click on it back. And you can kind of tell, can you see the stuff around the outside and these little guys, these don't go away. Okay, they stay there so you can later on add more and more if you need to. Now what makes this lovely is that you can go through and, where's my copy? So um, I can add individual text for these things. So let's add these and let's add this one. I'm just double clicking them. So you can edit them and they're still got that lovely, if I click off, because I double clicked it, go inside, remember, and now object editing mode. I click off, click back in, and I've still got this, and it means that I can still play with all of the spacing, even though they're quite individual. Same with these kind of boxes here for images. Now with the images, you can just drag in one at a time. Okay, so let's grab our exercise files. Whoop, there they are. Uh, let's grab image one and just drag it in, then you can go, you at this. Okay, but I want this one to be that one. Okay, and it kind of assumes, oh, you're doing alternate ones. You're like, no, no, I'm just gonna do each individual. Ooh, I saw that one, you go there. Okay, and you just keep adding them as you go through up to how you wanna do it. Uh, often what you can do is, let's undo that. Um, okay, you can just grab, I've got four of them there. Okay, I can grab four of these, grab a different four. Um, and just drag one in and it will assume that you're gonna do this like lovely little repeat grid. Okay, and so it's great for you, you know, you can make them individual, but you can control them all together. And the spacing is one thing. What I find useful is this here, you decide that actually later on, we're not using that font. Okay, we're gonna use, uh, do I have Trajan Pro? Ooh, another lovely font. Okay, you can see I can adjust these things, or maybe it's just the size, and you're like, actually, I just need it to be a little bit bigger, and I can move it across there, or, you know, it's not quite fitting, so I need to make it smaller. So you get this kind of like, yeah, I say lovely a lot into the um, repeat grid. It's one of the real big perks of XD over the competitors. Okay, so you can change fonts, you can change colors, you can change spacing kind of all together, but some bits can be individual, like the actual text in it and the images in it. Also, rounded corners, you can go, oh, I'll have five, please, and they all go and change. There you go. Um, but there will be a point you're like, actually, could you stop with the whole updating them all? I just wanna bang them apart because I'm gonna do something more individual with them. Okay, I wanna kind of make them, shuffle them around separately. What you can do is you can click it once. Okay, so click off, click it once. And over here, there's an ungroup grid. Okay, and you just click on that and it just smashes them apart into like individual objects. What kind of individual? Okay, you can see they're all kind of, there you go. So I can get into this one and say, actually, you're going to be, you know, a right aligned image. I want this kind of like, you go there, you go there, and you go there. And you wanna change this to a specific different font. There you go. So you can break them apart. Um, you can't stick them back together once they're broken apart. I just undid there. You can hear my loud keyboard tapping away. Uh, Command Z or Control Z on a PC. 
uh, to get them back together. So great for these card type of things, anything that repeats, okay? It might be a list item, see these here, okay? It might be a big long list or bullet points, anything like that. I use it for navigation as well. Okay, we'll do nav later on in the video, but kind of navigation bar down the side here of a mobile nav where it says home and account and that. You make one and then just duplicate them along. Um, another use case that I use it for um, is these mood boards, okay? Big ugly mood board, what you can do is just go rectangle, okay, and go you, something representatively sized wise, <laughs> and not so big. You know how last time we dragged them in, they were like heading off into the, uh, I don't know, into the distance to the right, okay, and they were quite big. So what you can do is make a move board that's a little bit more, uh, I don't know, less like that. Okay, so I can do this, get roughly the number I need, okay, and grab my mood board, where was it, mood board, and just dump the, all of these in. Look how awesome we're gonna be, you ready? Oh, look how awesome we are, and you can control the spacing like before. Yeah, cool, huh? <laughs> so spacing, you might get them overlapping. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> Just get on with it, Dan. That's the end of the video, all right? So uh, repeat grid, super useful and handy for this. You might find that it actually repeats as well. Um, if you've, can you see it? I've not got enough. Just so you know, I've got this and it gets, you can see this guy repeating twice. Well, there's the first one and it repeats there. So I don't really need, uh, oh, what did I do? <laughs> Random right click and I locked it. You can lock stuff, did you know? You can lock it so it doesn't move around. Yeah, there you go. I don't do that a lot in um, XD anyway, except by accident. Okay, so I'm gonna go, don't really need this one. There you go, that's my mood board. Um, all right, that is it for this video. I will see you in the next one. Hi there, my name is Dan Scott. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, uh, subscribe to the channel, and if you wanna go further with Adobe XD, there is, I have a full course, there'll be a link in the description, it's called Adobe XD Essentials. There'll be a card up here you can click as well. Uh, but yeah, carry on with your day, enjoy, and I might see you in the full course.